blend material. Let's go up to rendering and let's go to our material editor, compact material editor, and let's go and change our material type. I'm going to click where it says standard here and I'm going to go over to blend. Double click and I'm going to say discard old material. Now, what blending a material is, is a, it's a compound material. And it's used to blend two different materials. And so, in here I have material one and a material two. And I can pick these two different materials. But let's go take a look at an example here. I'm going to come down here and say blend material. Here we have a brick material on one. We have a stucco material on the other, on the other material. When I put the two together then, I can end up controlling the shape and the mix and I can have stucco on one part and the brick coming out on the other or maybe you have a painted hardwood floor for example so in the material number one you just click on your first material and you set it up the way you want it to be so I might come in here and say oh I'm gonna go with an architectural material I'm gonna pick a template um, Maybe I'll go with a wood varnished and I'll pick a color for example and I'll pick some sort of, I don't know, brownish color. There we go. And so I got a brown color of wood there going on. And now I want to go back up and use go to parent. When I go to the parent, it jumps back up then it goes back to my blend parameters. Now in my second material I can pick in my second material I could just say oh this is standard and I could pick a, just a color of paint let's just say and let's say somebody painted the floor uh, who knows let's say they painted it green and uh, I could let's go in with a, a really kind of a greenish green right and uh, so we'll just say it's pure green they did it basically here right and uh, so I'll say okay and they painted it green for the second one I can go back up to my parent here and you can see that I have two different colors I have material one and material two and uh, so I can just go back and see those two different materials okay so you can see when I'm picking on it, it shows me that material. When I go back up to the parent, I could pick on the other one, shows me that material. So I go back to parent, and now that I have the two different uh, materials, um, I can actually take a map and mask part of it. So some of it isn't seen, so I only painted part of the floor if I want. Um, and I can come down to the mixing curve down here. In the mixing curve, I could say use curve if I want, and that is uh, I'm going to use this curve. So, and I can say the mix amount is 50 per 50 here. And so I can come down here and and set the upper transition and the lower transitions. Uh, these are where the mask mapping will be placed so I have to have a map set and which I'm not but I can come over here and set a, a mask of different type and uh, you know maybe I had uh, oh let's just say a swirl uh, type of effect here I can say okay and so it was swirled on type thing and I could set that up uh, so when I do that then I can then use the curve and I can set how much is in the upper zone and how much is in the lower zone and I can use that you can see how it's got more green than brown so I can say well let's go with 50.50 right and uh, now we're gonna see a little bit more um, uh, from one color to the other here okay 
So blending uh, materials is a com compound material with two different materials that we blend together. And let me go on magnifying this so you can see that I have the brown in here from the wood and I got the green paint over the top of it. And uh, so I can come along and say, all right, I want the, uh, let's go with, we'll change this to 0.75, for example. And now, you know, the brown's taken over. All right, I can come in here and say, oh, 1.0 on the upper. So depending on how I set these, 0 0.50, and I'll say 0 0.20. You can get different results of what's shining through on the material. So it's a good way of saying I got two different paint colors, one over top of the other. I got uh, a paint over another material. I got you know stucco over brick, etc. So all these are good examples of blending materials.